had three merchant fulfilled orders and it was shipped and I have a pickup scheduled for USPS so you get those packed. This is one of the items I sold. It's a pack of name tags for and um, sold for eight dollars. I paid two dollars. It's been listed for a month but I bought these probably like two years ago. I bought maybe I think I bought these like three years ago honestly. Glad I got the money back. It sold for eight dollars. So as you guys saw, I just packed up a few boxes for FBA, so I've got three boxes back there ready to go, and yesterday someone DM'd me on Instagram asking what they need to start reselling on Amazon. So I'm going to go over the tools I use, or the basic tools you need, and then some of the other stuff I use. So first up, let's start with the basics. Tape, I mean, you gotta have this. This is scotch tape. This is probably the most expensive shipping tape you'll ever use. I only buy it when it's on sale at Costco, and even then, it's still kind of expensive. I'll link some of the other ones I've used down below, but I think the brands are Tape King and Duck. Duck is the brand they sell mainly at Walmart. It's not a Walmart brand, but uh, if you go to Walmart, you'll see a lot of Duck, like bubble wrap and tape. So their tape isn't bad and tape king also isn't bad most of the generic ones on amazon as long as they have a lot of reviews they're fine and always i mean look for one that's highly rated and a low price so i'm thinking like less than two dollars a roll is a good price i'm pretty sure but i'll link some of my favorites down below and i do have a tape gun this is from uline you could buy it from uline but you'd have to pay shipping so I think on Amazon it's like 10 or $15 for this specific one. I like this one, but it doesn't really matter which one you buy. The next thing you're going to need is a tape measure. So right here I've got a 30 foot tape measure. You don't need a 30 foot tape measure. The largest size box you can send to Amazon is 25 by 25 by 25 because the max uh, length on any side is 25 inches. So 30 feet is overkill, but I mean, it's just good to have around. So this is what I use. I will link this one down in the description. This is Stanley brand, and it's nice because if you let go, it just stays there and then retracts like that. You'll need that to measure boxes, and sometimes if you're sending items that haven't been listed on FBA, you'll need to measure products. So it's good for that too. And then this is another really important thing. So. This is, might look like a normal piece of paper, but it's a sheet of labels. So there are 30 labels on this sheet, and these are what you use to label your items for FBA. So on each individual item, you're going to be using one of these labels. Now, technically, you don't need these. You could just use paper and cut out each label, but that will definitely take a long time, and then you'll have to tape it on, which won't look very nice. So I recommend getting these. They are not very expensive. You can get a pack of, like, 30 sheets for seven dollars or something so i will link some down in the description this is avery brand that's the most expensive one i don't recommend buying theirs because it's just more expensive you can buy some of the off-brand ones and they will work pretty well the only reason i have these is because i found these at goodwill so if you're out thrifting you could you might be able to find some there too i found a huge box of them for like three dollars which was a great deal especially because they're name brand so moving on this is a, or let's see, let's go with this. So this is Goo Gone. Now, if you're wondering what this is for, if you do retail arbitrage, sometimes you're gonna have stickers on products. You need to remove any sticker that isn't like manufacturer sticker. So like Ross puts price stickers on all of their items. Nike Outlet puts stickers on all the shoe boxes and Target clearance stickers, Walmart clearance stickers, stuff like that. When you pull the sticker off, there might be residue. This gets all that residue off, or sometimes stickers won't come off cleanly. If you just put some of this on a rag and wipe it down, let it sit for a minute or two, it'll be way easier to pull off. And 
you're also gonna need rags. So I have like two of these. I should have more. I should probably replace mine because they're pretty dirty now, even though I wash them or I put them in the laundry like every week, but they get stained over time. So these are always good. If you're doing thrifting and your Goodwills use like dry erase marker to write on the items, always good to have some rags to wipe those down. And I also have all purpose cleaner. Doesn't really matter what you use. This is from Target, Up and Up brand all purpose cleaner. Might be harder to find this because this is also a disinfectant and coronavirus, but I bought this when it was on clearance at my local grocery store. It was only a dollar, so that was a good deal. Essential tools, you might have these around the house, but scissors, a knife, a nice easy to use knife. If you want to resize boxes, so if you're doing an FBA shipment, you get a box, you put all your items in there and there's extra space at the top. You can use this to cut down the sides. It's pretty easy and it could save you some money on shipping. So definitely worth it to have one of these. And another item that's pretty important is poly bags. So these are just bags. What's special about them? They have this little strip at the top. If you pull this back, it's sticky. So you can just fold it over and it'll be stuck like that. The reason you're gonna need these is if you're selling something that's like, um, let's say you bubble wrap something, it's good to put them in one of these bags so item doesn't get dirty, bubble wrap doesn't get dirty. And, or if you're selling like liquids, you need to bag them like sauces, stuff like that. Or if you're just selling something that you don't want to get um, worn on the outside, like damage, because items will get, you know, like dirty and stuff in warehouses, moving around, all that. So. It's good to keep these. You don't have to bag every item. Usually I only do it when Amazon says to, like on the right side in the app on the listing, you'll see a little like box that'll say, uh, if you click on that, it'll say prep needed and it'll say poly bag. So that's what that means. Buy the variety pack if you're just getting started because you never know what sizes you're gonna need. So there's um, a listing on Amazon. It's like maybe 20, $30 for a solid variety pack of bags, a bunch of different sizes, so you should be covered for a while. Of course, you will be needing a scale. If you have a bathroom scale at home, you could just use that, but I bought a shipping scale because it's generally more accurate, so this is the brand Accutech. It's a pretty small scale. Um, this is, I bought this when I was just getting started out. This is one of the first things I bought. It was like, this is like $20. And it works great. The reason I bought a different scale was because it's hard to, if you put a huge box on this, it's hard to see the screen. And if you want to press the hold button, so it's so like if you move the box off, the weight will stay on here. The button's here. If the box goes like all the way over here, it's kind of hard to reach your arm under. Press the button. So I do have a bigger scale, which I'll show you guys. I'll keep it in the closet. This scale is by Dymo, has a detachable screen, so as you can see, it's just, it comes off like that. It does have a power cord, but you could use it with batteries too, so. I bought that on Amazon for like $50, and I think that was a pretty good deal, but there's also this brand called Smartway that makes them. The reason I bought this instead of that is because this has a bigger platform to hold the boxes, which is something I wanted. And this is another item you might want to get if you're selling electronics. These are like gardening ties, twist ties, so just pull them out and then cut it like that, and then you got a tie. I like using these more than rubber bands because I think it looks more professional. It's just, if you buy something brand new, like from Best Buy, you know, you open it up, the wires are wrapped in those little ties. This is pretty similar to that, which is why I like these. This roll has lasted me years, and it only cost $8, so that's great. And... I think those are all the essentials. So you don't really need a lot to get started. I would say everything you need under like $75. So definitely pretty easy to get started. Some of the other stuff I use. Now, if you're just getting started, you really don't need this stuff. It's more of stuff I bought over time because it makes processes easier, makes me more efficient and helps me be more organized. So here is one of those items. This is a receipt scanner. This is a very nice receipt scanner. This cost $150. I just bought this like last month actually. And 
you can scan receipts to this without wires so you just charge it up and then you can use this unplugged like it doesn't need to be plugged into anything there's a SD card slot right here but it also has wireless scanning capabilities the reason it's so expensive is because of the SD card and the wireless but it's great it does two sides it does color it does JPEG it does PDF everything you really need from a scanner is right here the only downside is it can't scan long receipts without using the computer software that was kind of a downside I did not know about that so I'll just use it with a computer it's still wireless which is pretty convenient and it scans pretty fast so I like it and this is an essential this is an essential kind of forgot a printer you're definitely gonna need a printer you don't need any special printer just an inkjet or laser printer I use the brother HL 2340 DW because I got it for ten dollars from Goodwill like three years ago still running great so that is the printer I use if I need to print anything and I also have thermal printers you don't need those if you're just getting started but if you find them at like Goodwill or you want to you know invest in one of those I use the Dymo 450 turbo for FBA labels and the Zebra ZP 450 for the 4x6 shipping labels both are solid printers Dymo gets a lot of hate because their printers aren't the best I've had a few issues with the Dymo actually one time I was trying to load the labels and then it started going backwards and then it completely jammed the rollers so that kind of sucked but overall it's not that bad and for fifty dollars um, don't buy it brand new buy it used on Amazon it's like I don't know 56 I bought mine on Mercari from I don't even know who but it was gently used so fifty dollars is a good price for that as far as boxes go for your FBA shipments you can get them from Home Depot or Walmart or you could just reuse any boxes you have or find so to get free boxes just you know walk around Walmart you see someone stocking the shelves you can just say can I have some boxes and they will usually say yes or you can go to the office section get large medium small boxes I think they're cheaper at home or at Walmart but the sizes are different and Home Depot usually has them in stock Walmart runs out when you need them the most so I just go to Home Depot one of the biggest mistakes new sellers make is not staying organized so at least one thing you can do if you're um, if you don't buy like a receipt scanner I don't recommend you buy a receipt scanner initially it'll I mean it's great but it's kind of expensive maybe not the best way to spend your money if you're just starting what I used to use in 2017 2018 when I was just starting out was a little accordion folder it's like seven dollars and it, there's enough pockets to hold a year's worth of receipts so it'll get pretty stuffed but it works for the time being and you can stay somewhat organized receipts ordered by month so that's good one last thing you're gonna want to have around is bubble wrap I buy it on Amazon or eBay and I will put the link in the description it's way cheaper on Amazon or eBay compared to Walmart so I don't recommend buying it from Walmart even though you'll get it a lot faster but I think that covers all the essentials so as time goes on you're probably gonna want to buy more stuff like um, recently I bought a second desk I use an impulse sealer and a heat gun now all great tools but you definitely don't need those to start out so if you're just starting out I recommend putting more of your money towards inventory to get your business growing you don't need to spend a ton of money on supplies to get started so if I missed anything I'll put that in the description too but I think I covered all the essentials so that wraps it up for today's vlog thank you for coming this is gonna this is my second vlog so if you missed the first one I will link that in the description as well and if you made it this far I really appreciate it and until the next video bye guys